All right, so a lot of you are maybe wondering, um, if I go live on YouTube, what will be my stream URL be? In other words, you want to choose something called a perma link, which you can then share to your people so they know where and how you're going live. <laughs> to do is go to youtube.com and then click on this little video icon and select go live. You're not going live when you hit this button. So don't freak out from here. What you can do is, Hey, looking for stream now classic. I recommend that you actually click on classic because you're able to find information a lot more easily. You'll be taken to this page. As you can see, I'm not going live. There's no video available. So what you want to do is keep scrolling down until you get to this is your share link. So whenever you go live, this is going to be your unique URL that you can send to your audience via uh, social media. It could be a newsletter that will do, right? So there's also a link where you can actually click on and it will show you exactly where you are right now. It's going to show you uh, if you have gone live, it's going to show your previous live link. But don't worry, once you update in Restream what your new broadcast is going to be, when you go live, this information will be updated. Okay, so definitely don't worry about that. Uh, another way to get to the live link, as I have learned earlier, is there is a URL construct that will work, which is, look at this, if you have a channel like me, so that will be youtube.com forward slash C and then forward slash face world media. Now, if I just add that forward slash live again, link, there is a reason why it's not arriving on the live link. That is my current live stream broadcast is private. So you want to make sure that is public. How do you do that? Click on your person icon under your channel, go to the YouTube studio, then go to videos on the left hand side and then click on live. You see that regular video uploads and live are actually different. Now, the first thing we want to do is right here under upcoming. This is when you go live and what you want to do is make sure that this visibility here is set to public, not private, not unlisted. So you're going to click on publish and I wouldn't worry too much about the descriptions here. You know, face world media goes live. I can just click on save so that, you know, if people arrive on this link before I go live, they see something more generic as opposed to, you know, my previous uh, go live content. Now with that change, let's go back to this live link and boom, you will see that this is the exact same live stream offline link as the other one. That's more cryptic, but you can see that, Hey, face face world goes live right now. The live stream is offline. And last time I streamed was on June 29th. 